Hello, humans! I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Sonic Rush with Blaze the Cat Story. In this part, I'm gonna take on the fourth zone of the game, which is known as the Water Palace. Now, this was the second zone for Sonic the Hedgehog. So, in theory, this should be the second hardest zone, because Sonic's story goes in order of difficulty. But, I am in agreement with it, with Water Palace being more of a fourth zone area, because it incorporates water, which changes the way you move, which changes gameplay mechanics. I'm already getting hit, see? It's tough, guys, it's tough! But no, it incorporates water, which changes gameplay mechanics, because you move differently, you have a chance of drowning, you... It, stuff like that, I feel should not be thrown in- Oh my god, I can't even land properly! All I'm trying to say is that this zone is tougher than a second zone probably is expected to be. And Sonic games have a history of incorporating- Oh my god! Look, look, okay. Let me put it to you this way. When I got through this zone as Sonic, I did not take a single hit. I'm getting hit a bunch of times now, but that's not why it's difficult. I already explained why it's difficult. It's because the gameplay mechanics are different and you have a chance of drowning. But my whole point is that this is more applicable to a fourth zone because Sonic game- whoops, pressed B prematurely there. Sonic games have a history of like making water levels the second level of a game, and I'm like, no, that should that type of stuff should be shown later. You're already twisting gameplay mechanics when you do that, that's stuff for like midway through the game to mix things up, not for immediate use. Like Sonic 3, Hydrocity, or Hydro City, however you want to pronounce it, is the second zone of the game. And I don't know about you guys, but I think that zone is tougher than most other games. There we go. You do a trick into those propellers, you really go flying. Take that. Top route. Here we go. Anyway, Hydro City, or Hydrocity, whatever, is the second zone in Sonic 3. But it's like the seventh or eighth zone in Sonic Mania. And in Sonic Mania, yeah, that makes more sense to me. That zone is probably tougher than other places because water is so different. Whoops. I passed the goal ring. But hopefully that's still a good score. 120 plus rings, beat the level. Then beat it in under a minute 30 seconds. I kept getting hit. I probably could have done so had I not kept getting hit. But let's see how I did. Oh, actually, I think even though I got hit three times, yeah, that's an S rank score. Boom! So I got hit three times and messed up on one or two other level aspects, but I still got the S rank. So maybe the zone is easier than I thought. In fact, it is easy. Okay, this is a shorter zone than most, so yeah, it's not like this zone should be zone 7 in the game. Nuh uh, not when zones like high altitude exist in this game. But, I do think that it being the fourth zone, that makes a bit of sense. It's fun, it's cool, it's a water level that I actually enjoy, and the music is catchy, especially this blazing mix. Mm, I love it so much. That's all I really wanted to say for the sake of this gameplay, that this zone, well, it's not super difficult. I, I think it's harder than other zones in the game, and that it probably should have come third or fourth in terms of zone order in the game. And I know that in other platforming games, the water zone, the, or the water world is usually the third or fourth zone. So, on the one hand, I should be thankful of the Sonic franchise for mixing that up. Hang on, I actually gotta like, slow down here. I remember this from Sonic's, from when I played through this level of Sonic. I actually gotta jump here, okay. And then I gotta be careful toward the end of the level, because that's where there's a bunch of floating platforms in the bottom of this pit. Anyway, I know most other platformer games, when they have a water-themed world, like a beach world or something, it's usually the third or fourth world in the game, so I should be thankful that Sonic Rush, and Sonic games in general, mix that up. But, the reason they are the third and fourth world in other games is because water mechanics are generally trickier. And it's even more weird in this game because no other level incorporates water. So, I don't know. It's not super difficult, I just think fourth world placement makes more sense. Alright, we're gonna boost into this, take the high route again. I guess the fastest way to get through that is to do a trick into it, but I didn't have a way to do a trick into it because I didn't have a spring to bounce off of. We're fine, we are taking the high route. That is the better route to take anyway. Alright, press A right before hit the ground. Look at all those points. Oh, I love it! There we go. So many points. Okay, getting that checkpoint. Going through here, going around the big ring. Back into the water. Oh, about to be. Although I probably can jump and like skip a part. That's usually how this level goes. There we go. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I was supposed to do. Taking the high route. Doing tricks where I can. Still taking the high route. Although I think I am approaching the end of the level. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. Yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. There's some platforms here with bottomless pits. And if you don't jump in time, you will not make the jump. And there's nothing below that can save you. But thankfully, I'm Blaze the Cat. I can hover with my rocket boots. There we go. So that might also be an S rank. 195 rings, beat the level in under 2 minutes 30 seconds, and did a ton of tricks. Let's see how I did. Could it be 
that I can get S ranks. Oh, that, that's an S rank. Barely, but I got it. Ah, maybe more than barely. That was, that was actually pretty good. But could it be possible that I can get an S rank on all three aspects of the zone? Act 1, Act 2, and the boss fight? I'm on the way. I haven't done that in this game yet. I haven't gotten S ranks on all three things. I've gone S ranks on like the first level in the boss or the second level in the boss or... I don't think I've had a scenario where I've gotten the first two levels and not the boss. So that's why I'm excited. Although I hope I'm not jinxing anything. Let me knock on the wood. Okay. Doing that was trickier than it probably should have been. Knocking on wood and dodging that. Okay. In any case, we are going to wait for him to munch at me. Get the munch, or rather, don't get the munch. Go for the munch, miss. Let me smack you in the head. All right. Now, I don't know what the clear time for this boss fight is in order to get the S rank, but I imagine just as long as I dodge each attack, I should be fine. Oh, I was supposed to go in the opposite direction. Let me get all my rings back. I'm, I might have blown it. Well, actually, I don't know. If he goes back in the center right now and goes back for that munch attack, I should be okay. All right, so I should still be on pace. Okay, go for the munch. Get bopped in the head. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta munch, and sometimes you're just gonna miss. I get it, man. Okay. So, in any case, it's 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 just gonna be rinse and repeat. No pun intended with the word rinse because we're in water, but it doesn't really matter too much because although the water does make me move a bit differently, I actually can't drown here. It's more for an aesthetic purpose, which I will admit does look pretty good. This kind of bluish color scheme with this Atlantis-type architecture. Looks good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this type of stuff. All right, go for the munch. Just keep going for the munch. There we go. Is it weird when the boss fight takes longer than the levels? I mean, the boss fight's not over yet, and I, it took me like two minutes to beat each level, but I'm just saying, is that weird that in a Sonic game the boss fight takes longer than a level? I guess not, because in the levels you are supposed to just be rushing through them, so I don't know. Also, I didn't point this out earlier, but I can use my hover boots underwater. Kind of silly. I mean, it, it, obviously, I guess that's going to have to be the case because <laughs> it's not like they should get rid of a mechanic for one character underwater. And she's like channeling the fire through her key or something. It's not like she's igniting a fire underwater, so it's a little different. Okay. In any case, only one hit left. I seem to be on pace. I think I've been hitting all these cycles as quickly as I can. So I... As long as I don't mess up this next hit, I should be okay. Go for the munch! I messed up the next hit! Don't hit him yet! Give me the rings! Oh, I might have blown this. Maybe if I beat him under 2 minutes 30 seconds. There we go! That's less than 2 minutes 25 seconds! And I got to keep my rings. That ought to do it. Yeah, I think I still beat that boss quickly enough. Otherwise, you know, I beat him as quickly as I possibly could have. So that's zone 4. That should be the 4th Soul Emerald. And with that, I now have more than half of the Soul Emeralds in the game. Which also means I'm more than halfway done with Blaze's campaign in the game. <sighs> it goes by so quickly, you guys. Well, there you go. Did I get it? Did I get that triple S rank here in the Water Palace? Oh, I think I'm going to be just one point short or 1,000 point short. No! Are you kidding me? I needed one more ring? Why? What happened to the ring that I missed when I got hit at the end? I thought I collected them all. Oh, I actually am salty about that. If I collected one more ring, I would have gotten the S rank. Or if I hit him on the first cycle like I was supposed to. But that's okay. Sonic's not here! I wonder where he went! I've already retrieved some soul emeralds. And I did it without Sonic's assistance. I don't need his help. Besides, this Sonic sounds like... Sonic?! Where are you? Amy? Oh, hi, Cream! Where's Sonic? Sheesh, another person ranting on about Sonic. I'm looking for him too, but... So he's not around? Darn it! I realize my voices for them are too similar. Um, who is she? This is Amy! She's a really energetic girl who loves Sonic. But she can be a bit short-sighted in that regard. We better have a little talk. Not again! Just wait, please! Everyone sure likes to talk a lot around here. But I'm not getting any negative vibes. So, who's she?
this is Blaze! I just became her friend! Nice to meet you! Are you looking for Sonic? I'm warning you though! I'm Sonic's girlfriend! No, what I'm seeking are the Soul Emeralds. I really couldn't care less about anyone called Sonic. Great! Then it's okay! I won't let anyone else have Sonic! She really is open about her emotions. Something that I'm not allowed to do. Oh! The time! I can't stick around! I must find Sonic! He's gotta be around here somewhere with Tails! Tails is neat! He loves to build things! He also makes all sorts of cool inventions! I think I changed Cream's voice, I'm sorry. He also likes to hang around with Sonic! 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 Where are you? I, look, I'm not a voice actor, okay? You have to forgive me. I can't do girl voices. What was that? All three characters on the screen are girls right now! Alright, let's catch up with Amy! What? Amy has Sonic radar! So wherever Amy goes, we'll find Sonic! <laughs> oh! I finally saw you smile, Blaze! What? Me? I'm so happy! Now let's go! Look, I'm not a voice actor, but I figured if I didn't talk as the characters through those cutscenes, they'd be a bit more boring. But alright, it's fine, it's whatever. Blaze the Cat got to meet Amy Rose. Alright, so the next zone of the game is Zone 5 for Blaze the Cat, which is known as High Altitude. That's normally Zone 6 in Sonic's campaign. So for Blaze the Cat, Zone 5 and Zone 6 are swapped. Point is, it's a difficult level, but I think I'll be able to get through it. For now, that wraps up this part of Sonic Rush, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey, thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you want to show your support, one of the best things you can do is leave a comment down below. So if you have anything nice you want to say about the video, or if you have any questions, I'll try to respond to whatever I can at my earliest convenience. Either way, your support means a lot and I really appreciate it. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye!